Welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Um, today's lesson will be very, very brief. It's going to be on intervals. You must, I think, understanding how to compose and hearing sound on an instrument, it doesn't have to be on a keyboard, um, is to understand where your intervals are, meaning the types of notes. How many notes between a note? So for instance, we're doing C major. And in total, each, each scale has an octave. An octave, each scale, yes. Octave meaning octo, meaning eight. So in total, you have eight notes in a scale. So an interval. Okay. And usually you can find intervals in songs, many popular songs or songs that re are recognizable. So we're going to start with the second. Okay. One, it's a perfect pitch, which is perfect, like a perfect octave, basically. It sounds exactly the same, right? Make sure that your instrument is in tune. Also remember to make sure that you tune your instrument if you have an instrument. Um, this is the most important part of understanding, okay? So let's start with second, okay? We're doing it in C major. Frere Jacques, or are you sleeping, Brother John? And then this, which is the third. Right? Or this is the fourth. Right? Okay, this is fifth. Actually, this is better. But it's the same composer, right? Or the Superman song. But Star Wars is okay, and then like Carmen, okay, so I think in a lot of movies that have people swimming around in water have that particular song which is from Carmen. It's like a waltz, right? Think of a waltz. Okay, so that's a, a waltz. Three, four. This is like sci-fi. You can come up with like all sorts of things. Maybe this is the 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 section where you're going to come up with your own thing. Or a romantic scene in a 1980s movie. Okay, so that's, that's, you can create your own sound there. Okay, or maybe you know another song that comes, comes comes quickly to your mind, okay? So that's the seventh, and then a perfect octave, or perfect, perfect pitch, perfect. So think of this. Just a very short class today, um, so I'm going to do the the I'm going to do an exercise without me saying anything, and I'm going to have you identify where what it is.
Okay, so that's just in C major, no flats or sharps. And you can put those in any key signature. You could do it in D major, you could do it in G major, you can do it in E major. Um, but this is just the introduction. I mean, there's more detail that goes into intervals. But this is, this is a quick, quick show and tell about intervals. Okay, and once you have your scales, you'll be able to identify them a little bit better. And you can do your scales on any instruments, it helps. And that will help with the progress of understanding how to start a song. If you know the intervals, or you can pick up what the sound sounds like, sounds, if you can pick up what it sounds like, guide yourself through a composition. Just like the song that I played by ear as a child. I picked up the notes and I understood where those notes were placed on the piano and I was able to figure it out. So once you can hear it, you can generally pick it up and you don't have to be 10 or 11. You can be much, much younger than that too. So I promote um, people and young people to try this out and see what you can do with pitch and tone and sound. And I've placed some information on my, on my Nomadics website, so I'll, I'll put that down here if you guys need information on where to find equipment. Amazon is a great place to start. Thank you again for popping over. I do have book recommendations if you guys need books. Um, reach out, um, send me some messages, um, and let me know your thoughts on what I'm doing right now. And thank you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.